Hey guys, Tech Asian here. Uh, wanted to do this follow-up video on um, on the ZX700 uh, review I did. Um, I gave it a really bad review. You guys know that. Uh, so I, I thought, you know, I'll address that and do something about about the about about the headphone and not the review. So I did a mod. Now it's a it's it, it's a simple mod. You know, there's nothing great about it. It's just a <clears throat> change of ear pads. But I got this idea. When I watched uh, Tile's video, Tile is uh, from Inner Fidelity. If you don't know Inner Fidelity, then uh, check it out. Tile said in his uh, BMW P7 uh, review that changing the ear pads or the airspace between the ear pads makes a difference in the in, uh, in the frequency that is three to six, uh, which which was a problem with this headphone. So I was like, all right, that's a problem with probably a lot of headphones in this price range. Shore uh, 440 has that issue, the M50s has that issue, uh, <clears throat> some other headphones do have that issue, so I was like, oh, that's cool, we can address that with a simple ear pad mod. Now, finding a ear pad could be hard, but for me, it wasn't, it wasn't hard, because I had a spare pair of ear pads, and that was the Brainwaves HM5 ear pads. Now, the Brainwaves HM5 ear pads uh, are, you know, pretty large, uh, as, you can, as you guys can see, just let me take it, as you can see, these are uh, rather large. As you can see, the wire also fits inside. These are so huge. This just the whole headphone looks like a beast now. These are some really, really good pads. You can get these for eight uh, dollars, uh, just for one piece. That's sixteen for two, uh, if, the, if the math is right. Uh, so you can get these ear pads for a relatively good price, and then uh, you can do all that stuff. So this kind of solves the presence region now. Uh, before uh, the frequency, before the presence region, which I was talking about. Uh, and it just totally mutes that and you get a pretty flat frequency response from the mids to the treble. But what is affected the most <clears throat> is the bass. The bass is something which uh, if the driver is not, uh, is factory recessed, it's gonna stay that way. Uh, it has absolutely no effect in the low frequency. If not, it you know makes it even less. So bass is highly recessed. And for a studio monitor, it's fine. But for a mixing headphone, it could be an issue because you can, you know, you you'll put a lot of bass in your in your in your in your master, and uh, you will have a really bad master in general. So we will be talking about studio monitors and uh, what exactly is a studio monitor and uh, how to create one of the world's best studio monitors for hundred uh, for less than hundred dollars. So a studio monitor headphone generally shouldn't be flat. You know, being a flat headphone is not necessary. Uh, the, the 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 best studio monitor which has been out before even I was born is the V6, which I had. And that was uh, probably the most classic headphone ever made. And this headphone kind of, kind of, you know, is continuing that legacy, but it's not exactly a V6. Um, uh, with this mod, it's, it's a step closer. Although the V6 was not a great headphone to start off with, uh, it's a respectable headphone. I had it, I like it, but it's not a great headphone. and. Um, this is the same case. Uh, the, the the overall signature is pretty similar, and that's a not not necessarily a, a desirable listening uh, signature. So if you if you listen to a lot of music and you want to listen to music with this headphone, signature might not be um, you know quite up there uh, or you know quite matching your needs. So for that, uh, this mod really helps. Now, as you can see, this mod kind of mutes that frequency, and you know you get a pretty flat frequency response. Except the you know recessed bass and everything else is pretty much flat, uh, which is fantastic. All the treble detail comes up, and it's not overshadowed by the extremely accentuated mids. Uh, and overall, it just creates a better MDR ZX700. So studio monitors in general should be you know not necessarily flat, but a mixing headphone should be flat. Otherwise, you'll get a bad master. So for mixing, you can mix with this. I would highly recommend mixing with this just have another pair of headphone which is having a flat bass just a flat bass and uh i think a flat bass is the brainwaves hm5 is a pretty flat bass uh check that out and you will have one of the world's best master believe me a lot of people don't know what they're mastering with i've seen a lot of people master with uh some extremely accentuated treble uh, headphones some extremely bassy head how can people you know um, master with um, 
with beats. I've seen some people do that as well. So it's kind of crazy. Don't do all of that stuff. Uh, do this uh, simple mod and you will have a fantastic, fantastic headphone in your hand. The, the wire fits inside too. So uh, I don't know. I cannot stress that enough. This is one of the best things I've ever done. And uh, this absolutely changes the whole sound of the headphone. Highly recommend doing this mod and creating the world's best studio monitor slash mixing headphone. Not exactly perfect for mixing, but uh, ideal for studio monitoring and uh, listening. Thank you for watching. This was Tech Agent, and uh, this was kind of a follow-up on the MDR-ZX700 review, which I gave it, you know, pretty bad rating. So, you know, total we are talking about 80 for the headphone, 16 now uh, or something. Yeah, you can get. I, I think it's in stock now, so 16 for the. Um, uh, for the pad so you, you got a perfect studio monitor for less than 100 bucks and uh it sounds uh, exceptional so and very close to headphones coming in at 150 bucks if the bass was flat i don't know this could be the perfect headphone the perfect headphone the most ideal headphone thank you for watching guys this was tech agent and uh this was a retake on the mbr zx 700 review the perfect studio monitor headphone